Welcome to Data Video Tech Tip Tuesdays. Today, we will be showing you four ways to control your Data Video cameras. Whether your video production has four cameras or up to 20, we have a solution for you. The first method is to control your cameras through IP using the Data Video RMC 300. You can control up to 20 cameras with the RMC 300 by creating a local area network, and you get a UI and additional camera control features through your tablet or smartphone, which mounts conveniently in the center of the controller. You'll need a router or LAN network at your business or venue with enough Ethernet ports for the amount of cameras you want to control and connect to the RMC 300. You can then have your tablet or smartphone connect via Wi-Fi to the same network. The second method is to control your cameras with a completely wireless camera controller. Instead of having the cameras communicate with the RMC300 on a network, you have the cameras communicate with a Wi-Fi connected tablet running the SE500MU app using the camera control feature. The app is free and a prior Tech Tip Tuesday video covered this method in more detail. To learn more, there's a link to that video in the description below. The third method is to use RS422 with the Data Video RMC180. There is no router or networks involved. You simply do a home run with your ethernet cable from the RS422 slot on the back of your camera to one of the channel inputs on the back of the RMC180, and then you will be able to control your cameras. If you're controlling four cameras or less and do productions in multiple locations, this may be your best option. Another solution with simplicity in mind is the fourth method, which is HD Base T. The Data Video HS 1500T and 1600T are HD Base T video switchers that have built in camera controllers and three HD Base T inputs on the back. If you have Data Video HD Base T cameras, like the PTC 150T or PTC 140T, all you need to do is run a CAT6 cable from the cameras to the HS1500 or 1600T and you'll have full camera control in addition to video signal and power. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. To learn more about any of the equipment we used in this video, you can check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip Tuesday.